Hi everybody, it's about 9.30. Here's what I come up with so far. There's my uh, pagoda <laughs> pucks or whatever you want to call the things. Um, that's about the right length. That's about 28 inches. I was at the hardware store today and I found a vacuum cleaner hose that fits inside a two and a quarter inch hole that's in my uh, four by four spar. So I think I'm going to use that as a template. And once I get everything locked in, I might pull that out of there or leave it in there. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but plenty of room for exhaust coming out the Fudlo in the back. Maybe I'll run the exhaust system right out the tail. Ooh, that'd be, that'd be interesting. Okay, here's basically what I come up with on the tail. Um, overlap feathers to... Uh, uh, reduce some of the the torque and that's what the rudder is going to look like that also overlaps on the top a little bit and I'm going to mount the rudder and the tail feather as one piece that way it'll be stronger so I haven't figured out if I'm going to do it in foam or balsa wood I have to think about that on the back but we're getting close basically I got it tapered on an angle I put some tape line on there to so give you an idea what kind of line I'm working with. And then uh, as far as, uh, there's the end of the 4x4 four four right there. And I'm going to, over there's some of that foam core. I'm going to overlap it with that. Box it in real good. And then uh, I'll put some uh, plates on all four corners so it, uh, it'll have some horrendous structure to it. And um, I'm coming along with it. I put the top on. So that's the fourth cell is actually the control tower. And I twist it over this way a little bit. So it looks like the lines are going to feed into it pretty good. It's a little bit on the stubby side, but that's what ducks are anyhow. A little bit on the stubby side. So I think it'll fly okay. The end of that rudder will probably come up to this point right about, right about there, which is the second puck in. All right, that's it. Ciao.